Hello everybody, it's me Roscoe and welcome to another instalment of Game Day and it's another big one. Hull City was big on Saturday, we're now here at Coventry City for this, the penultimate game of the season, we hope, uh, Town of course. They win today and only need a point on Saturday against Huddersfield Town. Uh, Coventry have got nothing really to play for but have had a, a crazy last 10 days, FA Cup semi-final, players missing and all that stuff with injuries, it's going to be a big game. Barnsley away, 2.0 please, we shall see, uh, let's get right into it, uh, normal stick as ever, food, team news and the thoughts on the Cowboy Army, let's get right into it. Okay then, just have a nice little sit down, calm before the storm and all that, uh, goalies are warming up in front of me, I think the outfield player is going to come out very shortly and team news has just dropped and there's been a few changes, big news, Leith Davis starts, which I think all of us are happy about, of course he came off injured in the whole City game, but he starts from the off. Happy days indeed. The changes are as follows. George Emerson comes in for Luke Wolferden. Mike Hutchinson starts, which I just wanted to mention because that's great to see. Uh, Keith Moore comes in for George Hurst. I think that is what I expected. Keith Moore back at games, probably not. Off the bench and we'll see what happens. Uh, Nick Broadhead starts, which is great to see as well. Wes Burns also starts, which is good to see as well. Uh, but yeah, Nick Broadhead comes in. So have a little look-see. Comes in for Connor Chapman, who was my first goal scorer for today. So that ruins that. But yeah, Nathan Broadhead is back, and the rest is as you were, basically. Uh, so there we go, team news in the bag. And uh, I've got my food. I went into the press room, and um, I got told what was on offer. An offer was a burger and chips. Now, controversially, I decided to turn down the chips, because I had some chips earlier, and I thought, I can't do two bit of carbs. So I've gone for the burger. There it is in all its glory. Bit of salad, bit of cheese, bit of ketchup. That will do the job, I'm sure. And uh, I'll give my rating very shortly, because I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good. Little peep by the curtain. I had a steak a few hours ago, so I'm going to be eating a lot of meat tonight. I had to get ready for this nine minutes of football. So let's get right into it. Let's get this in my belly. Hello, so the countdown kickoff is nearly here. There's the blue army behind us. The burger is top notch. Let's get into the action. Cantel get the win. Let's do this. Blue army, see you out. Let's go. I don't know what to say because Ipswich Town have beaten Coventry two goals to one. Was a one game to go and Town could be in the Premier League. Um, oh my word. I think we lost for words. But oh, honestly, mate, never in my wildest dreams did I think that on the last day of the season we'd need a draw. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I didn't think we'd be here. This is silly, isn't it? That's so silly. I've got to pinch myself. We're alive, yeah. It's oh, not a dream. It's not a dream. It's all right, then. I mean... Up and down oh, Honestly, it was one of those games where that sort of halfway through the first half, Coventry had all the ball. I've checked yeah. the possession. They had about 68, 69% possession. Absolutely silly. But we saw it out with a bit of grip. We have the setback of then getting the equaliser. Then Cam Burgess. Oh, oh no. Two oh, people. Cam Burgess could have just fired us to the prim. What is it? What's going on? Oh, you, you don't take different players you think could do it. But yeah. Big Cam Burgess. <laughs> I mean, Big Cammy Burgess. I always said he was the best finisher at the club. <laughs> yeah. I've always said he was an absolute fox in the box. Yeah. Never really meant the opposition box. <laughs> but my God. Look. Those well, scenes, man. Sit, uh, honestly, 11 minutes of bloody added time. I felt about I half like an time. hour. And then when oh. that full time whistle went oh, that man. away and. Look, Rossi, mate, I know we're not there yet, but we can this dream. fan base has it. had so much rubbish. So much rubbish. I hope that people singing has picked up on the microphone, but we deserve this, bro. You yeah. know, this is what football is about. Get down to Portman Road on Saturday. If you can't get a ticket, get down to a pub in town. Just get these boys over the line because they deserve our support after they've given us the hell of a season oh. they've given us. Bloody hell, man. Nights like this, it's what it's all about. One to go, one point needed. Keep believing. We're nearly there. Up a town. Well, Darren. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just exhausted. That game was exhausting. They got over the line, made it 2-1. Thoughts on that one, my friend? Uh... I just, it's just overwhelming relief. Do you know, all evening, I haven't been able to stop thinking about 2005, when we went into that final day, yeah. and it level on points with Wigan, and our goal difference wasn't quite as good as theirs, and I thought, if we lose tonight, it's a repeat of that. Ah. And I just thought, please don't do that to us, please. And 
to not only to not only get the you know the point to get ahead and not be in that position, but to get the win tonight and take the pressure off of Saturday. Oh. Couldn't, couldn't have dreamt for any better, honestly. Of course, it started perfectly. Keep them all, making it 1-0. Yeah. Come back in team 1-0, and then yeah. they equalised. <laughs> that was Bloomers, by the way. Um, he'll, make a, he'll make an appearance soon. I think that must have been a... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, mate. Like, the game, it happened. We won the game. Yeah. It's just about the moment right now. Yeah. What a time to be a town fan. Oh, honestly, it's, it's absolutely cherished these moments. You know, we, we have gone through so much. And, you know, you, you sit there looking at a, a game like this and thinking, uh, you know, you remember coming to, this, coming to this stadium so many years we've been in the championship and before, but, you know, before Coventry went down. And you think, we're so used to this level. And you think, actually, now we're right on the cusp of something that we've dreamed of for over 20 years. I just I absolutely made up. Absolutely made up. And the boys were, you know, I, the first half... I'm so glad we came out the traps fast. Yeah. And then it kind of just felt like we were, we were controlling it, but Coventry had you know plenty of possession and you could see they had the threat you know, on the break. But honestly, the, you know, the way that we've seen it out in the second half in the end was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Sarmiento, oh. when he came on, oh my goodness me. You know, what he does off the ball, what he does defensively, and, and getting us forward again, he was absolutely outstanding. You know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can probably hear us. A lot of good shouting. Pan, pan round, great. Look at that. Look at all that. There's just unbelievable scenes. There's Ben Diaf. He'll come on in a second. But Daza, cheers, man. Take safe journey over, mate. Cheers, God man. bless Thank you. you. Thank Up next is Bloomers. He made a little cameo just a minute ago. You're screaming into a phone. Did I? Yes. Oh. Uh, mate, they won. They won. <laughs> They won. They won. We're so we we can't be any closer. I mean, to put our backs against the wall right there. After we scored to make it one nil, um, we absorbed so much pressure. And to be honest, the equaliser probably was coming. It was a bit sort of crappy how it came with um, uh, Vaz getting his near post. But I, today's not a day about that. Like to show the character again to do what they've done all season and just get back out and 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 not let it affect them and go on the front foot again. And look. We didn't really have, apart from the goal to make it 2-1, we didn't really have a lot in the front third in that second half other than the crossbar uh, chance from uh, Moore? Broadhead? I can't remember what, what it was. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, like, it, it, yeah, so like, we dug in again in those 11 minutes. <laughs> if you ever want to feel immortal, just sit in that away end yeah. when there's 11 minutes being added because then you will feel like it. Um, yeah. Oh, man. We, we can't be closer. Yeah. We can't be closer. Touch and distance. People, right people like Roscoe, I mean, I'm, I'm 29 and, and Roscoe's a couple of years younger. Saturday's the biggest game in our history, in our history. John Watson, King of the North, has just offered me a tissue. I must look like I'm crying right now. Um, he's not far from the truth, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think we're just, just lost for words, aren't we? We're lost. Well, we're not going to say. Everyone going, oh, this will be our Barnsley. In fact, Ben Diaz is behind the camera. He went earlier, this will be our Barnsley. Like, it, it never felt for a second it would be because of the way that the game went. It didn't feel like it was going to be that easy. No offence to Barnsley back, back last season. Um, Jamaican internationals aside. But um, uh, this was just... No, if you could encapsulate Ipswich into a, a, a pill for one game this season that kind of would be it really like it's just it's just being ahead in the scoreline when it matters and and look I could sit here for another three hours and not really make much sense I'm not making much sense now <laughs> I know, I know I'm sorry I'm really I'm, I'm I'm struggling I'm struggling I'm very emotional um I didn't do game day last season when we beat Exeter to get promoted because my emotions are the better for me I promise you well I don't promise you because I don't know what's gonna happen but <laughs> If, and it's still a big if, like, I don't care if we'll be 1-16 to to be double chance against Huddersfield on Saturday. If it happens, um, I will try and be in front of the camera because there's been enough rants in the last... Sorry, that's only emotional just now. Um, there's, been yeah, enough... Thank <laughs> yeah. there's been enough rants in the last two and a half, three years to uh, get to this point. So um, if we can end it on a happy one, that'd be amazing. But um, we've got to do it first. But if we do, then... Uh, I would try to be in front of the camera, and, and this man, well apparently this man showed a hotel room with me, so <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have some fun, but look, they've done so well to get to this point, it's one more, it's not done yet, it's one more point, but if you look to the away, um, looked at the players when they came to the away end after the game, um, I think they know, I think they know, the whole they town, believe. The, they believe, well the whole town's ready 
They're all done ready to go. It's like it's like uh, Steve Aoki is just taking the needle off when the, when the drop's about to come. <laughs> We've just got to just make sure there's no malfunctions on the technical equipment before it happens. And then we can just put the needle on and we can go off. But let's just do it. I mean, we're so close now. And um, I never I never thought this day would come. No. <laughs> so let's hope it comes on Saturday. Tom. Well, what duo up next? The King of the North, John Watson and Ben Diaf. Boys, uh, we've done many game days. In League One, some bad games, some good highs, obviously last year. Today probably tops that because um, we're a point away from the Premier League, boys. Thoughts on this one? Who wants to go first? Come on, Ben Diaf. My thoughts are probably all over the place, but that's yeah. not very helpful for something like this, is it, Ross? So uh, you know. my thoughts are that, as Bloom has just said, I really had th sort of the thought of the Premier League just seemed like an absolute, just in a million, million miles away. Like, we're happy, almost got to the point where we're just content with League One, then we get to the Championship and we're being a... a Blaze, blazing through, and an, an, what was the uh, the DeLorean? Yes. Back and we're going back to the future. We're going back to 2000. Yeah. Burley's boys. Now we're McKenna's boys. It's absolutely incredible. It was a back to back to the wall performance for probably three quarters of the game. Burgess got man of the match, I think, by Sky, and I think yes. everybody around me was was in agreement. But this team just just keep going, and as much as they put us through the ringer, and it's not the most enjoyable game to watch. I think, how can one thing be so awful but so <laughs> unbelievable yeah. all in one game of football? I'm just, I'm ecstatic. You know, you're there in the crowd at the end. We're all singing. It's 20 minutes after the final whistle. I'm thinking I'm not going to be home until one o'clock. My, my one year old's going to be up at R6, and he won't give a flying flute about the result. <laughs> But it, I don't care. Cool. I, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted, Ross. Every Ipswich Town fan who is watching this or at home or in the crowd, anywhere in the country or the world, I'm, I'm just delighted for them. We've got another point to go. We've got a, a stubborn Huddersfield team. They won't go, um, you know, they won't go down easily. Saturday is going to be monumental. Wow. It's going to be the occasion of, of the 21st century for Ipswich Town fans. I can't wait. Oh. Ben Diaf with the spit in the bars there. John Watson, my friend, that 11 minutes, how, how was that for you? You, you? you just got over it? Yeah, I'm turning more grey, uh, <laughs> my heart's getting a bit more weary. Do you know what? What a different game from Saturday. Oh. Um, Saturday we play this flowing, attacking football, um, and a much more open game. I thought first 25 minutes, 30 minutes, we were the better side, and then they got back in. And then, really, until they scored we didn't really move up a level no. again and their shape was better than Hulls I suppose they were more organised still some good players on the break and stuff but it was uh, backs to the walls and big shout out I totally agree I called Burgess just before he scored I said go on Big Cam come on, come on Big Burge and then he was immense throughout he was marshalling the troops he was winning everything in the air shout out for Fridge as well coming in you know he, he played well you know Caden Jackson came on in his part. This is a squad that we need to be proud of, not just the team. I liked at the end as well, McKenna brought on Janoy Dinesh and he just pushed yeah. him in front. And, and JD yeah. deserves that. He's yeah. been part of this team and part of this squad for the last, you know, JD's been around a good while. Like but it's a championship, shit, well, you yeah, know, yeah. when we, you know, under Paul yeah. yeah, Absolutely. And it's just so special because it feels like you dare to dream, we're almost there. We're not counting our chickens because, you know, sport's got a funny way of yeah. sometimes throwing up things, but we've got to be confident going into our. Uh, our Portman Road, our kingdom with Sammy Borsi, uh and doing our stuff because if we play like anything like we could and the fans are up for it, we know we can get that job done. So let's enjoy this moment. It doesn't feel like enjoyment tonight. It feels like relief more yes. than enjoyment. Saturday, I enjoy the game. Yeah. Tonight, I've been a bit stressed. The guy in front of me, we were massaging his shoulders. He was just getting more and more <laughs> tense. No, but terrific team effort. Show character and guts and determination as always. We've got that in abundance, haven't we? And yeah, then Sarmiento came on. Some of his diving challenges, I love that about him. Just everybody put a shift in tonight, you know, so let's just breathe, let's just wait, and then let's just enjoy Saturday. And let's not count our chickens, but it's going to be a good day. It's all right, boys. Well, I'm having to lean here because uh, I'm just exhausted, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here now with the final duo, Jabster. And Liam are from Crew. Boys, a lot's been said, but I want your raw emotions from that win. Start with you, Liam. I can't walk. Uh, I don't really know what to say. I, I love and hate football in equal measure. Um, 
Uh, I've always wanted to lose a bit of weight and I, I wouldn't endorse people trying to go on crash diets by going through 90 minutes of hell, but I probably lost at least 20 pounds in that. It was bloody, oh my God, it was just, I don't know. It, I mean, I, we had more of the chances, but just, as soon as, yeah, we, 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 we just, we just, as soon as that equaliser went in, it was just like, oh God, not again, please. And then, obviously, we saw it out at the end. And, um, well, I, I'm, I'm still annoyed with Coventry scoreboard for stop ticking. After the 11 minutes had gone, they stopped ticking. I didn't know how much longer to wait, but, but we did it. We've got the three points. And now it's just a point to go, and we'll be in the Premier League. Ooh. Yes, Liam. Job star. Yes, mate. We've seen lots, lots and downs. We have, haven't we? We have. More, more downs. Yes. More downs than ups. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Blues is now just saying goodbye. Yeah, bye, Blues. Bye, bye. Yeah. And here we are. One point. One point. Just yeah, just a one point. Just one point. One point away from something that. I genuinely thought I would never in my lifetime, 50 later this year, in my lifetime never thought I'd see Ipswich back in the Premier League. And we're one point away. I'm speechless. Yeah, it's, it's no words. I think we've said so much about this team. Oh. Such a special group, special manager. Well, special know, one. Right? Special manager, special team. You know, we, we had many a conversation last season. You know, let's go back to last season. We were in League One. You know... We, we kind of towards the end of the season said we had a championship team playing in League One. What we didn't know was where, what, you know, what level were we at? And, you know, I, I think I've said this numerous times on the pod and on game day. I hope that we would be a mid-table team and challenging towards the playoffs towards the end of the season. We're second. <laughs> we're second. Our, our, our championship team that was in League One is what we're now going to be starting to... Ref only a point away but we're going to start referring to this team as a Premier League team and that is just let that sink in Bonkers. just let that sink in just for a minute because like I said I never thought I'd see it again no. and here we are one game away and we're at Portman Road what a, be what a oh, special place what a way place. to end it what a way to end it oh. what to end a, a season where you know I love the championship I enjoyed just when we were in the championship before you know there was always something yeah I did it was <laughs> something for us to go for especially in the, you know in the better years Daryl yeah, yeah. Murphy all of that yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know mate. unbelievable Kieran McKenna Mark Ashton Ipswich Town I don't know what more to say I really don't oh. bring on Saturday yeah Liam, uh, I, can't, I can't wait for Saturday. I missed, Exeter. missed Exeter. I, though, yeah. I miss Exeter last my, year, my so son missed Exeter as so, well last year. So Saturday, this is this is going to be immense, and it's for everyone. Yeah. It's been an absolute effort by everyone: the supporters, the team, the coaching staff. I mean, we deserve everything that has come to us this season, Thank you and I, I'm lost for words. So let's just bring on Saturday and let's get it over the line. And let's start punching the big boys in the face next season. <laughs> Come on! So, man, thanks again for watching Game Day. And uh, yeah, bring on Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, right. We're done. Oh, up to Bye bye. Up to town. <laughs>